Well, it's been a long day. I finally finished. I got a few miles to go back to my um, camp. Call her day. I'm gonna have a drink of rye. I'm pooped. Packing all that salt and camera and everything up the hill. I got those white tail antlers in there. Nice find. Set of uh, four point white tail antlers, uh, either a wolf or, or, or a cougar got it, who knows, but it's been dead for a couple of years now, I think. By looking at the, you know, how old the bones are, the, the antlers are white. Anyways, I'll take it to my collection and add them, add them to my collection at home. So, anyways, uh, I'll take it and I'm happy with it. It's, uh, it's, it's I'm still a shed hunting, lots of laughs. <laughs> There's a set. I've been looking for sheds, mind you, moose sheds anyway, and then this popped up. I got one more trail cam to set out, and I've got them out. It's been a wet day today. I'm really wet. It's stopped raining now for, for a while anyway. Got to go down to that place where that big hole is that I promised. I promised, uh, you know, you members that I'd show you what, uh, you know, that uh, water softening salt did. Well, it was water softening salt later, but it was that uh, trace mineral loose that I, I sprinkled on there, and I'll show you what the land looked like before, you know, and then after. You know, I just, just, just normal ground. Anyways, uh, I gotta get going. Um, I'm gonna head down there, and I'm going to uh, put out some more of this here water softening salt. Got uh, Canadian Tire for $6.99. And uh, then I got another trail cam to put up in the draw up there where there's no wallow. So I got to do that yet. So I'll get going and, and um, get, get them set out. There's my bucket. The bucket's about uh, probably, I'd say, 18 inches high, and you can see how deep the hole is. Anyways, I put some more water softening salt here for them. And I'm not going to put a trail cam here. I'd love to, but it's uh, too open of an area, and there's too many people know where this place is. Since I started this year, um, you know, lick here about four years ago, so I'm not going to, you know, take a chance of losing my trail cam. But I imagine I get some nice pictures, you know, or I should say videos of, uh, of bucks here, you know, and, and does if I was to put the trail cam up here. But I don't want to lose my trail cam, so I got to put my trail cams where it's secluded areas where no one else, you know, will probably go. I haven't lost one yet, touch wood. You know, the you know, four years I've been putting them out here. Anyways, I'll shut her down. Well, this is what the ground looked like. Uh, back about four years ago just like that and then I got about 10 pounds of that uh, loose trace mineral salt and I emptied it right on the ground like that it was just bare like that near the timberline here 
and uh, there was no block salt ever added to this place and um, I added uh, that water softening salt uh, the crushed stuff I added it about you know a year or two more after that the trace mineral salt was added and uh, that was all and I never you know put any uh, salt here last year and I'll show you what the hole looks like you know with the rain and absorbing into the ground it started a natural lick look at the size of that hole down there it's just huge it's about six feet by six feet across you can see where the all the deer tracks are here from this year again and they just love it here so I'm going to empty some more rock salt in there that uh, water softening salt in that hole right there and uh, it's quite amazing what they've done you can see the tracks all around here there it's quite active so that's what it looks like <laughs> 